Hey, what is going on? I'm going to show you a brand new unlimited seller reputation glitch, a completely brand new method, and this involves only one item. Unlike the last method where we had to find a ton of these in order to turn them in, this is no longer the case. We can just grab one like I have right here, and I'll leave a timestamp right now so you can go to the end of the video and find the locations before you start the glitch. So once you've found the item and you've recovered it, go ahead and fast travel to the nearest location where there is a stash box. Once you've found the stash box, go ahead and stash the item that you just found on the ground and then fast travel to foundation when you fast travel to foundation the vital equipment quest should pop up and by the way this is a brand new account so I can show you how much reputation I gained from doing the glitch so let's go ahead and talk to Ward make sure that you keep that item in your stash box do not grab it go ahead and talk to Ward and we're gonna choose the top dialogue what the top dialogue is is just to accept the quest officially so go ahead and accept it and from there Ward will spit some additional dialogue at you and then ask you to go and captured that item from the thief. It's simple to do, so turn on that radio tracker, search on the map where it's at, arrive at that location, and find the item on whichever NPC it is. Grab that item and fast travel back to Foundation. We're gonna go and talk to Ward, but before we talk to Ward, we need to head back to where? Well, the stash box, and the stash box is where we stashed that one item, so we're gonna go back and grab that same item that we had stashed previously, and go into the stash box and grab that item. I'm gonna grab the multi-scope, which is one of those vital equipment items that you can find on the ground. Again, you can see that at the end of video if you want to see it. Go and talk to Ward, and we're going to choose one of the three dialogue. If you want more items and other stuff like that, go ahead and choose the top one. If you want more rep, the bottom one, which is the third dialogue on the option. From here, finish the rest of the dialogue with Ward, and then we're going to go behind his trailer. The reason why we're going to go behind his trailer is nothing weird, guys. I promise you that. We're just going to go behind his trailer, and if you're in a public lobby, you can drop it here or preferably somewhere safe so no random person grabs that item and ruins the glitch or if you're in a private lobby just drop it and then you're good to go so we're gonna bounce out of here once the item is dropped on the ground bounce out of the lobby leave it either social menu or by pausing and then we're gonna go back into the same lobby public lobby or if it's a private lobby go back in the same same server if you have a friend join off of them but if it's a private you can obviously go back in it so obviously you guys saw that the vital equipment icon popped up for the quest, that's good to go. Grab the item behind his trailer that we had just dropped, go back to Ward and we're going to talk to him. We're going to choose the first dialogue, let it go through all the way, do not skip anything, just let it run through as it normally would, listen to the crap that he's going to say to you, and once he's done that, you're good to go, go behind the trailer and repeat what we just did. So drop the item, the multiscope for example. And then we're going to pause it or social menu and then leave this way. Now go back into the same lobby, same server. Remember, it has to be the same server. Or if it's a private server, you'll always go back to the same one. Vital equipment should pop up. And from here, go back and grab that item and return it for the third time. You can do this as many times as you want. You can gain caps, treasury notes all sorts of stuff. So I hope that this was extremely helpful to you. And this way, you can no longer have to go find multiple items you can just do one item and get all of that now like i said there are timestamps that i have included so we're going to get straight into the other locations on how or where to find these items because i know a lot of people have issues with it and they just can't find it because of maybe the server or whatnot but we're going to get into that and we will do that soon but again i just want to show you right there drop the item and then go back in and you're good to go so let's go ahead and get into the next part of the video. Okay, let's get into the locations. The first one that we're going to visit is Camp Venture. Once you're at Camp Venture, you want to head to the top left side of the map. And this will be literally right next to the fort and uh, next to a big rock. So you'll know it's there and you'll see it right there. If it's not there, you'll want to server hop once you visit all four locations to see if the item has popped up. The next one is Willard Corporate Housing, and it's right in front of you, literally, when you spawn. And again, like I said, remember, if it's not there, um, server hop till it is. So the third location is Top of the World. Follow where I do when you spawn at Top of the World, and it'll be here on the top left. Not right there, but more right here. So you'll go up, and again, the location did not pop up for me right here, so I would probably want to just hop to a different one until it did pop up. The other location, again, is at Top of the World, and this is more towards the 
uh, entrance of Pleasant Valley Cabins, I believe, or just more of the entrance to Top of the World to get there. So I'm going to hop up here. I have it speed up for us, so that way you do not have to sit and watch me do this. And it should be right here on the ground. And that is it for the locations. I hope that this is a helpful video. It's extremely better than the last method. And that is it. Have a great day, guys. And yep, that's all. Take care. Peace.